pay for, according to Pastor Mac, Pastor Max, would he come to me and he would remove the covering and I, I, could, I was free to go. You know, I just want to say to us that our sins have been covered by the sacrifice that was made for us some 2,000 years ago. If you're here today, you're standing around listening to these words, can I say to us all that there was a man named Jesus who died on a cross similar to this one and his, his sacrifice, his blood was shed and it covers our offense, it covers our sin. And the Bible says this, that all who call upon the name of the Lord, they will be saved. Can I encourage you on this Good Friday to remember the significance of what it really is about. It is about redemption coming into this world. It is about the cross and all it stood for. It's about Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, who sacrificed his life so that we could know true freedom. It is such an honor and a joy to be here again. And can I say in closing this uh, afternoon, that one, that repentance is a beautiful thing. If you confess, uh, if, uh, Bible says, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So God bless you guys on this good, good Friday. Amen. I will continue the reading from um, Isaiah. Isaiah wrote this 700 years before it actually happened. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked, and with the rich in his death, because he hath done his no violence, neither was there any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my right, righteousness, righteous servant, justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. I'd like to call on uh, Pastor Gordon from Salvation Army to continue. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Isn't it great to be here? We're here to lift up the name of Jesus in the center of the city of Christchurch. Yeah. We're here to lift up the cross yeah. on this Good Friday. And we've already, our pastor, Brother Nu, has uh, been explaining to us about the cross. And uh, we're going to continue meditating and thinking about the cross. If you're a Christian believer, welcome. We pray that you'll support uh, this time of worship. I know you already are. If you're not a Christian believer, listen and uh, enjoy. We're trying to share with you the message of Good Friday, that there is a Savior, there is a Redeemer, there is a Christ. There is a God who's still in control of our world, even though terrible <laughs> things happen. Do you believe it? Yeah. It's true. Even in the midst of, of darkness, the light of Christ shines on. Well, I'm going to stop talking now. The band is going to, we're just going to have slightly different accompaniment now. But the, the hymns and the choruses and songs that we're going to sing are in the, in, the, in the booklet. And we're starting with There is a Redeemer. Martin, he's the, the band leader. And you sort of got to watch him because we don't have a, a, a battery of singers here to help you along, so you're really going to have to follow him to sing. But the first one is, There is a Redeemer, and then we'll go straight into a second one, which is a piece of music based on, There is a Green Hill Far Away, an old hymn of the church. Yeah. 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 
So, Servant King is the next one. Um, once again, there'll be a little introduction and just follow the words along. Then after that, we'll do another one similar to the one we just did, which was quite reflective. You can sing along if you like, but there's little breaks in between. So, um, keep enjoying. Stand for the fun. straight to O Sacred Head. This is quite a traditional song. Um, so, yeah, you 
know the tune and um, yeah, good words and yeah, let's all uh, sing it well together.